Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. How are you all? I am fine. Today we are going to do configuration of SM SMTP or email alert configuration on the latest version of Wazu. Wazu has recently released the 4.12 version of the Wazu. And one of my followers asked me to create a video on the latest alert management and configuration of Wazoo. So let's proceed with the topic. First, I am going to show you we have latest version install Wazoo. And on the Google, you have to type alert management of Wazoo. Okay. From here you have to follow the instruction of configuration from this point. SMTP server with authentication. Okay. Our scenario is we have installed Wazoo server on the Linux CentOS 8.5 and I am going to show you the email alert configuration with the integration of gmail account uh, and for the purpose you have to create the app password in your email account then you have to add that password in your wazoo server so i am going to access my wazoo server in the cli going to log in using my root email root username and password and you can google app password open this first link sign in with the app password and scroll down a bit and create and manage your app password here you have to enter your uh, password for your gmail account after the login of your gmail account you will pop up with this screen and you have to name your app password and click on the create button the app password will be created and pop up on the screen this is this will be shown one time so you have to save that password for the later use if you forget you can delete this app password and create a newer one and you have you can do the configuration using your new app password okay now we are going to follow these instruction uh wazoo email alert do not support support smtp server with authentication such as gmail however you can send these email alerts via a server delay like post fix so we are going to run this command on our wazoo server okay these some of the packages were installed and some were installing it's completed now you have to edit this configuration file and add the script in that configuration file we are going to use nano editor and this and let's find the smtp configuration if we have in this okay let's find Okay, it has been here but it is commented so we are going to add these in the start of our configuration file like this and you have to save the configuration file after that 
set the credential of the sender in this add this file and create a database file for postfix replace the username and password variable with the sender email address username and password correctly so we are going to replace the username at the rate gmail.com and the password we have recently created in the gmail app password okay let's let's edit it first before running it and and this is my email address was usmtp email at the rate gmail.com wazu smtp email at the rate gmail.com and and the password here this is the password we are going to add copy this command and run in the in the cli of wazu this has been completed successfully and run this command also okay it is telling that we have duplication in our configuration file this tag exists two time let's see it is successful or not now you have to secure your db file so the only root user can full read and write access to this so run these commands as well some ownership and permission command and now we have to restart our post fix service Okay, it has been started successfully. I have enabled it. If our our Wazoo server rebooted, the service will be started automatically. Now we have to test that our email configuration done successfully or not. we will replace the configured email address and the receivable email address with this one and okay now check for the email yeah we have received the test email from our wazu server this is our configured email address and this is the one on which we have received the email this is how you can do the snm smtp or email alert configuration on your wazu server as the email alert configuration done successfully now we are going to do the configuration at our wazu server to automatically receive the email right so we have done till this part now what we have to do we have to configure email notification within the global tag at this configuration file so we are going to edit this configuration file and here you are this is the global tag in which we are going to edit some values what we have to do we have to enable the email notification to yes by default it is at no you have to make it yes after that snm smtp server so our smtp server is this one we are going to copy this and you have to replace and 
email from we have configured this email address from and to so we are going to replace it my bad i have wrongly enter from email to email address and maximum per hour 12 hours and let's see any other configuration recommended from them till then we have done the configuration now we have to save the configuration file and restart the wazu manager to see as we have done the configuration true or not The Wazu manager has been started successfully. Hope you guys understood the configuration. Please like and subscribe my channel and share with your friends, colleagues and students. Until then stay blessed, stay tuned. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.